Top story this morning, thousands of friends, relatives, family members, and police officers expected to come to Boston South Shore today to pay their final respects to Weymouth Police Sergeant Michael Chesna. Yesterday, police released this image of the suspect accused of shooting Chesna and an innocent bystander with the officer's own gun. It shows police using Chesna's own handcuffs as they put them on Emmanuel Lopes before he was taken to court on Tuesday. Eyewitness News reporter Alexander Leslie is live in Hanover, Massachusetts this morning where the wake and funeral will be held. Hi, Alexandra. Good morning. Well, later today, friends and family of Sergeant Michael Chesa will gather at St. Mary's Church behind me to remember the fallen 42-year-old police sergeant and Army veteran. Now, his wake will be held at St. Mary's Church in Hanover, as I said. A police walkthrough is scheduled for 2 p.m. Tomorrow's funeral is scheduled for 11 a.m. at the same church. And as we've reported, Chesa was tragically killed in the line of duty in Weymouth Sunday morning. Before his career at Weymouth Police, he served in the Army 187 times. 10th Mountain Division serving two tours of duty. Chesna was also awarded a Purple Heart. He leaves behind a wife, Cindy, and two young children, Olivia and Jack. At a fundraising announcement for his family yesterday, Weymouth Chief of Police read a letter by Sergeant Chesna. It's the letter he wrote during the admissions process for the police academy nearly six years ago. I have always felt that I had a responsibility to give back to my community and country and felt that being a police officer was the best way for me to do so. Now, support for the family of Sergeant Michael Chesna has poured in from all around the country. I'll tell you more about one effort coming up in about 30 minutes. Reporting live in Hanover, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.